this video might just save your bits and keep watching till the end to figure out how. So hello and welcome to another video. My name is Adit. I'm a second year student at Bits Goa, and this is about what I did during my Bits App preparation, which I think salvaged my Bits App. Three weeks before the exam, I did what is called a pre-mortem, which is basically a post-mortem, like when someone dies, you do an autopsy or something. But I did this before the exam itself. So I sat down for I think half an hour and I wrote down a bunch of reasons why I would fail at the bit side. So uh, I'm gonna go walk you through each of these uh, reasons why I thought I would fail at bit side and what I did to basically counteract these uh, reasons of failure and end up cracking bit side and studying at bit score. Without further ado, here we go. The number one reason I thought I wouldn't crack bit side and this is a mistake I see a lot of aspirants making is incorrect revision. So I used to just memorize formulae again and again and not really applying them in question. So when I used to revise, say for example, maths or some physics chapters, I used to just go over the formulae again and again, knowing that, okay, I know these formulae. So if there's a question that comes up in this topic, I'll be able to do it. But how you should be revising is by looking at different types of questions. So for example, if you're doing say, um, I don't know, maths in binomial, you might do some stuff based on multinomial theorem, some stuff based on the greatest co uh, coefficient and such types of questions because it's all about the types of questions in J mains and bits. So if you know more varieties of the kinds of questions that can be asked, you'll have a much better shot at knowing what's going to come and then preparing accordingly. So revise the right way. The second mistake is not giving enough mock tests. So the BITSAT is a special exam because you have 130 questions that you need to do in, uh, in three hours. This is more than I think any other exam out there, be it mains, advanced, Manipal, VIT or any other such exam. So you need to prepare a lot beforehand and mentally condition yourself to the 130 questions. If you're applying for bonus questions, then you need to do more questions, 140 or 150, whatever. But basically when you prepare yourself by giving these mock tests again and again, it's much easier to perform on the final thing because it's just another mock test. Then your final BITSAT exam, uh, session one, session two, whatever, just becomes another mock test, which you've prepared for so many times. Imagine giving 50 mock tests such that your actual exam becomes just like training. Uh, imagine going over the motions so many times that when you're actually doing it for the final and the last time, it's just another normal day and you don't feel the added stress and pressure and anxiety. So give more mock tests and try to analyze them. Okay? Mock tests are useless if you don't analyze them. It's no, there's no use giving like 600 mock tests if you don't analyze even one. Now that we're talking about mock tests, you might be thinking, what's the best and most relevant test series for BITSAT? According to me, it's Photo Club. Because Photo Club is being built by Bits Pilani students. They've cracked the exam and they know what it takes to get them. In Photo Club, you can give tests as many times as you want and you get a detailed analysis after every single attempt. But wait, it's not just test series, there's more. You also get added to a WhatsApp group and you get free mentorship, regular G meets, and you can also talk to other aspirants who are giving Bits at JE and other such exams. Last year, almost 100 students made it to Bits Pilani using Photo Club and their products. So join Photo Club today, the link is in the comments and take your next step towards becoming a Bitsy. The third reason why I thought I'd fail Bitsat was not giving enough importance to English and logical reasoning. Being from ICSC and ISC board, I thought English is in the bag. Like I'm super good at it and stuff, but there were some questions in mock tests and even I think in the final exam, which I couldn't do, even though I was ISC. So you need to prepare using any of those books mentioned, you know, do the questions, uh, do uh, more mock tests and stuff so that you get an idea of what kinds of questions come in the English and logical reasoning part. Now the reason this is important is because JE doesn't ask you English and logical reasoning. The level at which Manipal and VIT asks you English and logical is not that high as BITS. So the level of questions that you get in this section in BITSAT are relatively higher than the Manipal and VIT questions and they're non-existent in JE mains and advanced. So this is a special section that you need to specifically prepare for just for the bits. I've made a specific video about how to guess intelligently uh, in MCQs and exams, especially when there's negative marking and stuff. Check that out here. The fourth and last reason why I thought I'd fail, and this is something that I see a lot of people doing. I think every single person who gives bits at does this. Reckless guessing is something that I think cost me a lot of negative marks and might cost you a lot of negative marks too. So be very careful when you're attempting random guesses. I've, I've made a detailed video on this, but even then, if you're you know just confident based on your gut, your gut can go wrong too a lot of times. In 130 questions, if you go with your gut like 20 times, that's not a nice number, right? So even when you're trying to guess, do it in such a way that you eliminate some options or that you know the unit is wrong. For example, if the options have units, then uh, do dimensional analysis and find out which unit is correct or at least eliminate one or two options so that the odds are in your favor. Stack the maths in your favor. 
and that's how you guess properly that's it for this video i wanted to keep it short so that you don't waste too much time and uh, these are some of the things uh, i wrote down in that pre-mortem that i did do a pre-mortem yourself figure out what reasons could be behind your downfall at bitside if you do downfall at bitside um, and uh, share them in the comments if you want that's it for now thanks for watching see you in the next one